Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel, it's your boy Zeno Vision in the building! In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install NVE plus Reshade for free in your GTA 5 game by Raised Mods. With this you will get natural vision involved plus Reshade which will bring your gaming experience to a totally new level. I'm gonna walk you through on how to install this. So before we do all that, I would love for you all to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So to make this all work, we're going to go ahead and download a few files. I will leave a link in the description that will lead you towards my Discord server. If you don't want to join Discord, that's totally fine. You can see the links right here. Again, this tutorial will be based for NVE plus Reshade for GTA 5, and this will be including a free version, so you don't need to pay. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and if you join my Discord, after you verify yourself, you will see all these channels. Uh, we also have a installation service for anyone that's too lazy uh, we can do it for you you will hop over to the gta graphics am i blind oh, right here and we're gonna head over to number 15 then we're gonna visit the links let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna start by downloading this then this then this i'm gonna download the trainer also again we're installing this on a clean version of Grand Theft Auto, so you guys don't get confused with other modifications. Um, and this, this is how you download. Uh, let me just show you again. Maybe you didn't see that good. You will be headed over here first. Hit on the game, and then evolved, and then download. It's that easy. Now let's hop over to our files. Oh. Uh, this is a different screen. So yeah, it comes from here, download, and you get redirected. Oh yeah, this was one, the one. So then you just hit download and then uh, it will start downloading. Uh, I already have it, so I'm not gonna download again. Uh, next thing that we're gonna do is hop over to our files that we downloaded and our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. Let's get them. Okay, on our left side, we have our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and on the right side, we have the downloaded files. As you can see, I have multiple games. This will be a clean version. I highly recommend you guys making a backup. I can't say it enough. For something that goes wrong, always have a backup. So let's go in here. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna install the first file we downloaded. We're just gonna hit continue, hit accept, continue, and continue will install. I already have it installed, I'm not gonna do it again. So after that it's installed, you're gonna open up for the first time as a administrator. How you do that is by right clicking on it and run as administrator hit yes click on windows and let it load up there you go you're gonna click on what can i do you're gonna give it the permissions that is needed you're gonna wait for the notification there you go you're gonna hit close you're gonna go to tools you're gonna hit on asi manager and then you're gonna install this right here, also this right here. And then you are gonna create a folder. You're gonna hit yes, and here you're gonna install it also. Then you can close it up and close this one up also. Then we're gonna go to the second file we downloaded, open up the folder, open up that folder within that folder. And then we're gonna select the two files that I select and we're gonna drag and drop it in our main directory folder. That's how easy it is. And you're going to replace the file that is uh, already there. Then we're going to go back. And then we're going to go to the third folder we downloaded. Double click on it. And select these two files that I also select. Maybe I should have done this sooner. And you're going to drag and drop them in the main directory folder. That's how easy it is. So we've done already 75% of the folders. We only have uh, one folder left. That's going to be this right here. We do need to extract that one. Uh, should have been smarter if I did that before. Let me see. Okay. Uh, for some reason uh, with Windows extracted, it doesn't work. So I use the other one. Uh, let it load. Let it do its thing. Uh, 
until then don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button also leave me some feedback let me know how i did i'm not getting enough of interaction with you guys so you would help me a lot just let me know how i'm doing uh tell me how your day has been i'm very interested in knowing more about you guys about my viewers i'm very interested what do you like more to play online or offline lspdfr or just gta 5 um that being said let's go further we're gonna start by part one double click on it there's also a guide highly recommend you just looking at it after you install everything or before uh just a quick overview of what is what we're gonna hit install and install in the mod folder make sure you do that or else it will not work and you have to restart again let it do its magic so that's done let's go to the second one part two double click on it let it load up and click on install again and to mods folder so that's also done and now the fun part comes the optional add-ons where you can choose whatever you want so the first one is the performance boost if you install this it will take out trees and other map modifications so it will make your fps uh, a bit faster i'm not going to use that because uh here it says right here removing the light effects uh, draw distance shadows and objects okay so i'm not going to use that i don't want uh, immersion blur also i do want brighter emergency lights and you can also uninstall it with doing this right here if you don't like it so that's pretty awesome and i also want these roads let's install it that's done you can close it install this one also there you go yes then let's go back and see what else do we have high quality reflections keep in mind this will affect your fps heavily so i have approximately without any modifications 110 fps on 4k with a 3090 um with modifications i easily go down to 50 with heavy modifications i go down to 40 or even 30 so that is oh yeah this one you can only install in the game folder so yeah it is a bummer that even with a 30 90 gpu it still hurts so here another one that's heavy i i won't be needing that uh which one was this i don't i don't think i like this one this is with the light bars that goes further than the car i think i'm not sure maybe it says a picture right here oh we can tweak it now well, let's just uh install it what else uh i think that's it let's not go with everything and here you have the lspd apart so if you have that make sure you to install this patch also um i'm gonna install these oh, what is this i don't think we need it because we it already has it and this is the older one so i'm not gonna install that um let's install this what is this read me you must install the add-on label before using this otherwise your game must okay i do not think this will work because this is one of uh june but let's just try and that's okay if it doesn't work because i have the newer file but just the latest gta version okay i don't think it will work but we will see uh then we install this uh, vehicle and keep in mind if it's not working that's totally fine we can just download the newer file of the game convict which is very easy and i'll show you let's uh, install this hypercar and yeah i'm curious about this other one also let's go ahead and then we're coming to an end it's a pretty long uh, video beginning to be pretty long because we also need to start up the game 
Uh, keep in mind, let's just do this vehicle also. We're right there. Uh, the last step is the reshade. Um, I didn't see if all the files were there. I'm gonna check it out now. Let's go ahead. So, yeah, I don't know if this is complete files, but we're just gonna find out right away. So, there's two things will the cars work? And are these all the files of reshade? Let's select them and drag and drop them right here. Make sure you close this. Then you need to do something. You need to go to your GTA.exe, hit properties, go to compatibility. Make sure, make sure you check run this program in Windows 7. Hit apply, okay, or else res reshade will not work. The same with play.exe, compat compatibility, click on run this program in Windows 7. This is because of reshade. Now, the only thing that it comes down to is to check if it's working successfully. So, I hope it does. Let's start up Grand Theft Auto and we will see. In the meanwhile, let me know what you think about it. Uh, there's two possibilities. The reshade is not working because we don't have the complete files, which I will also get right away. And the game config file must be older because I saw... Ah, oh, reshade is working. That's answer number one. ENV is also working. The only thing, if it crashes now, then you know the game config file is not correct. We will find out. So you can hit insert and there you have reshade. This is awesome. This is awesome. As you can see, this version of NV is also pretty new. He updated it actually. Uh, I gotta say, that's awesome. This guy, this raised mods has like over 100,000 members on their Discord. I don't know how many pays. You can see that on their Patreon also. But uh, this is an updated version. The last time I did a tutorial on this, it was like, a, it wasn't like this. It wasn't all these files. So he is even giving newer beta versions for free. I gotta say that's awesome. So, and I would love to share this with you guys on how to install this. And I hope you find the value in it. Because if you did, you can help me out also by letting me know or suggesting me uh, on more of these videos. That would be awesome. Okay, so we're in the game. Damn, look at that colors. And I gotta say my FPS, that's pretty good. Whoa. Bro. FPS is perfect. I'm gonna check out in a bit how much that is, but how is that possible? Okay, so we installed Simple Trainer also for a reason. Hit F3 on your keyboard, and then you can go back uh, up and down with your numpad, two or eight. And I'm really curious about the weather. Let's rain, make it rain. Oh damn, that's nice. And also the time, I wanna make it night. Okay. Let me just turn on the game sound for you guys okay now let's change to a police vehicle look at that reflections I gotta say this whoa might be my new favorite graphic modifications this is awesome the rain on the floor the puddles the reflections oh wow 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 just look at the street overview okay so uh, we can hit insert on our keyboard that will pop up this menu right here Can we see statistics FPS? I'm very curious. Uh, 43. Oh, it seemed much higher, to be honest. I thought I was hitting like 60. So if we go to performance mode, what will that mean? Not much. Let's uh, take that off. 
okay so here we can also go into settings like vehicle and we can change the settings like for instance the tail lights I don't know, uh, make it 30, does that make sense? Well, I can't right now. Yeah, like that. So if we check out the front light, hit insert again. And then we do headlights. Oh, that's not doing anything. Ah, that did it, that did it. Let's do. Or am I? Am I? Yeah, that did it. See? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's how uh, how you can... Uh, how your siren slides can go even higher. So this is how you can edit things, okay? And there is a preset button. So you can actually save it. I cannot find it. Where is it? Settings. Preset, preset, preset. Uh, okay, someone can help me out in this. I would. Is it here? It doesn't say preset. Auto save is on, so I guess. Clean up and save the current. Removes all values. Hmm. Auto save. Save current pre preset. Okay. Yeah. So I guess this has to be saved now. And here, so you can change more settings. You can play around with it. If you don't like it, just reset it. You can change game settings. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I gotta say, I love it, man. This is awesome. I really like it. So let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any tips for me, also let me know. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.